Welcome. I've been working on a project for the past few months. I started in January. It is a game from scratch made in C++. And I thought it might be cool to have little progress updates, to have a visual record of how the game evolved and grew and actually turned into a game. And so I spent a lot of time working on collision and those kind of systems independently. And now I'm actually starting to piece the game together. And so the idea is that it will be a space arcade game. And here you're seeing footage of it running in release mode. I believe I have 5,000 ships. I forgot the exact number I'm testing with right now. Um, and debug mode, this is very framey, but in release mode, it is fine. And so all I've done so far is loaded the model and sent them on a random direction. I've hooked up the collision system that I'd wrote, um, which is separating access theorem and com combination with spatial hashing. And I know most people probably don't know what that is, but the general gist of, of it is that each model will have some sort of collision shape. And that collision shape is used to uh, assign the entire ship to a cell. And the cells here are red and the collision will only be tested if two ships are within the same cell. And so it turns an n squared problem into an n problem. The n squared problem would be, is this ship colliding with any other ship? You'd have to check for this ship, check every other single ship out there and see if it collides, and then move on to the next ship and check this ship and see if it collides with anyone else. And that's a very expensive operation the collision, that is. And so what you can do is just check anybody that's in your cell. And for like this ship in particular, that there, there's nobody there. So it does no collision test at all. And so that greatly improves the speed of the collision test. However, rendering those uh, squares actually adds a little bit to the frame rate. Um, I think that's a pretty good update for this video. Um, let's see where I go next.